Today on Go Island, it's all about synergy. That is the exhibit here at the Nanaimo Art Gallery on the Vancouver Island University campus. Today on Go Island, how safe do you feel in the Harbor City? You've heard of yoga, what about doga? Talk to me, Dan, about smoking, that and more today on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and we're here at the Nanaimo Art Gallery on the Vancouver Island University campus. There's an exhibit on now through until February the 16th. It's called Synergy. Ellen McCluskey is the curator here. What is Synergy? What, what significance does the title have to the variety of things that are here? Well, first of all, we're, the, the show is uh, a show of the Faculty of Art and Design, and there's 15 members of the Faculty of Art and Design that are showing in the, in the Synergy exhibition. Okay. And uh, in our department, the Art and Design department, there are three programs. There is the um, visual art programs, the graphic design programs, and the interior design programs. And so immediately we have a synergistic um, environment so right. that there's a lot of, uh, of interaction and collaboration between the uh, faculty and also with the students. Right. Why is it important to display the work of the faculty as artists as well as teachers and instructors? Well certainly we're in a learning environment and uh, the students are always interested in process. They're interested in the conceptual aspect of work which right. we teach in our courses and they are interested in then as they're working on their own projects to also see what faculty are doing in, in their art practice as well. Okay, now one of the things we mentioned, there's a piece on the wall way at the other end of the gallery and you had mentioned Ellen that it's as much if not more about the frame than it is about the, the splashes of color and the images that we see in those circles and that is that's kind of key to an exhibit such as this called Synergy is how things are framed. Yes, so um, as a curator, we frame the exhibition so that there is some some dialogue between the pieces. Of course, uh, faculty uh, are working with their own individual practices and diverse media, uh, but to try and bring it together in terms of um, the, the different, again, dialogues that are happening. With this piece by Jason Grass, um, it's really speaking about the frame, but also the piece and that, you know, how we present present work. This is yours. This is yours here. Uh, yeah, is that this right? is a, a piece, um, a photographic piece, and it's really looking at the nature of photography and how we um, work with digital media. And often we're viewing digital media through a frame. I'm only stopping on the more significant uh, moments conceptually. Gregory Ball over here. Yes, um, the synergy sort of between these two pieces is um, really looking at uh, Gregory's uh, um, interest with. Uh, corporate heads looking at how nowadays we have um, so much information coming our way, oral information, and consequently this sort of a... It's like it's being a, spewed out. An oral yeah. uh, orifice. We have the orifice of the eye, the orifice of the mouth, and again framing how that's framed. Um, this is a draw, predominantly drawing, but it's in a light box, and then it we, we experience that drawing in a different way because it's framed in a different way as, as the photography is framed in a different way as, as Scott uh, Leaf's piece, uh, his ceramic piece is framed in a different okay. way. I'm going to end it here Ellen just because I know we're only tipping, touching <laughs> the tip of the iceberg as is the case with art in so many situations but we will be back with more from Synergy on the VIU campus and I'm an art gallery location later on this edition of Go Island. It's time now to throw things over to Rayanne LaPlante. Do you feel feel safe in the Harbor City. That's what she's looking at next. You know, I moved into Harewood about a year ago and I was a little bit reluctant. I was concerned for my safety and I was extra cautious about locking my car door and my front door even if I just went around to the backyard. Well, I've relaxed and I've never felt unsafe in Harewood. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. We're here at the Nanaimo Art Gallery's Vancouver Island University campus. This is an exhibit. It's called a performance installation by Ellen McCluskey and it looks at the the concept of life work balance and how so many of us are moving into work life integration. I think some, that is something that I can certainly relate to. We're going to throw things over now to Derek Johnstone. He's covering the BC Championship wheelchair curling that took place recently.
You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and we're continuing our exploration of Synergy. It's an exhibit up here at the Nanaimo Art Gallery at the VIU campus. This is Scott Leaf. He is a... Technician. Technician. Department technician. Department technician. And I teach a little ceramics on the side. And teaches a little. Yeah, I think he's being yeah. somewhat modest here. This is your piece for the exhibit Synergy. How this does is. it fit into the very broad theme of Synergy? Hmm, that's a really good question. <laughs> I hope you have an answer. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> Synergy for me comes from the dynamic of the department that we have. We have interior design, graphic design, and visual arts. Right. So I get a chance, I, as a technician, I get to work with a wide variety of mindsets and students and faculty and so there's a lot of synergy that takes place over there and so that being said my love is clay my my medium of choice is ceramics and so this is the outcome of that synergy That's, and i'm trying uh, to look for a definition. definition i'm trying to say i'm tr are these reeds i'm thinking mm. under mm. the water but then i'm putting this aside words next to it mm. can you help me out well you know reeds are good I, I look at these as uh, maybe being a little more expressive. They're, they're just an outcome of a number of uh, various processes that uh, we use in the studio in ceramics. So these are, for instance, just to throw out some terminology, uh, these are extruded pieces that are put together in sections. And uh, when they come out, when, when we're working with clay, they're very loose and it's flexible and malleable. So I tried to capture some of that. And what does the aside mean? Uh, the aside is a, is a theatrical device where the actor comes up to the edge of the stage and usually engages the audience with something short, sweet, okay. honest. I'm thinking and Cirque du Soleil, the little clowns at the be beginning. That. It okay. Could be that. Yeah. yeah. And so for me, I guess, given that this is it is an actual aside, it's it's made of clay. It's talking about the title of the piece, but it's also exercising a certain uh, level of expression and uh, love of the medium for me. So I'm hoping that when people come in here, this piece will come and speak to them. They'll okay. walk in, maybe they'll cast their eyes around here, and what they hear or feel or sense from this piece is something short and sweet and honest. Thank Does that you. work? Absolutely, and I could actually see that as home decor. That would look fabulous ah. in a home living room. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back after this. Still ahead today on Go Island Yoga for our four-legged friends and talk to me about smoking with Dan Kahn. That and more still ahead today on Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen and we have moved downstairs now at the Nanaimo Art Gallery at the Vancouver Island University campus. We're looking at an exhibit called Synergy. It's put on by the faculty and staff of three different departments here at VIU. Now, we just I just have to point out because this is the final layout and some final photographs as presented by Bodil Ellens. She is an instructor here and it's of the Gabriola Health Center, Gabriola Island Community Health Center. And Derek, who's behind the camera now, and I were there that day. You can see us right there, we're teeny tiny. I don't think you'd be able to zoom in, but that's quite interesting. We're gonna have another look at Synergy downstairs later on this edition of Go Island. In the meantime, you've heard of yoga, right? Who hasn't? Well, what about doga? Jen Moranit says that. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're downstairs of the Nanaimo Art Gallery here at the Vancouver Island University campus. We're speaking now with Kat Litva. She is the chair of the interior design program here at VIU. And this is some of your work on the wall behind you. What was this project all about? This was the BC Ferries head office relocation project um, that my company um, did. Uh, I guess it's been finished for a couple of years now. So, And that seems to be a really integral part of Synergy, which is the exhibit that we're looking at right now, where faculty can show the students um, their work that has been done out in the real world, the other right. side of you. And now we're getting back to that integration and life-work balance. But right. Yeah, I, I felt it was really important to be able to show the students what it is that they'll be doing when they get out into the real world. We teach them about um, concept development and about giving examples and presentations and then final floor plans and working through it. So I felt it was really important to give them an example of 
you know, what does it look like to have presentation drawings, concept drawings, and then move it into the final. So just giving them an idea of, of what they can do when they get out into right. the real world. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And I know of what she speaks because when I went to Camosun College, I uh, had an interest in television, of course. I'm kind of glad that's worked out as well as it has. But I actually took a final course in radio because the instructor was from CBC. She had a whole career of real world experience and I just wanted to sponge as much of that up as possible and then transfer the radio skills over to television. And I'm pretty glad that things that I that I played it that way. We're going to throw, throw things up now to um, Brooke McGuire. She's in Campbell River. There's an art exhibit at the Campbell River Museum and it looks at the art and life of First Nations artist Doug Cranmer. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're really enjoying our look at Synergy, an art and design faculty exhibit running here at the Nanaimo Art Gallery at the Vancouver Island University campus until February the 16th. But we're heading south right now. We're going to go down to Victoria where Dan Kahn is hitting the streets. He wants to talk to you about smoking. I have a little joke that I like to tell, and this is dangerous territory now, but it's a sign of the times when you walk into a drugstore and you say, yes, I'd like a package of Trojans, please, and some players light. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Synergy runs up here at the Nanaimo Art Gallery at VIU until February the 16th. And there is a panel discussion taking place on January 31st. I'm not sure the time exactly. You can contact the art gallery up here. It is open to the public. And I believe that it is examining life work balance and the concept of synergy through art. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time.